the research proposals that get people onto PhD programmes, the ones that get you accepted, the ones that have the panel saying to each other, oh my goodness, look at this, someone who can write, they have one thing in common. They're all clear. It is crystal clear from reading your proposal exactly what you're planning to do, why you're planning to do it, why it matters, and why the way you've chosen to do it is the best way of going about it. Now, I know this because in my career as an academic, I was a lecturer, I was a professor, I looked at a lot of research proposals. And my goodness me, some of them were awful. But I saw some absolutely amazing ones too. And I can still remember them now because when I look at those compared to the others that were just kind of dross sometimes, those winning ones were like the sun coming out after days of rain. I'm Dr. Elizabeth Yardley, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through three staple sentences that are going to help you get super clear in your research proposal. The person reading your proposal is going to love your proposal because these sentences are going to help you make it really easy to read. The last thing you want is a reviewer who is sitting there reading your proposal, trying to figure out what it is that you're talking about. Your proposal might be the fifth, the tenth, the fifteenth proposal that they've looked at today. And you know what? A confused mind always says no. If they're not clear what it is you want to do, why you want to do it, they're just going to put your research proposal in that pile. That no pile. So clarity over confusion, clarity over complexity always. Let's get into it. Sentence number one, despite existing research on blank, there remains blank. The people reviewing your research proposal don't want to have to guess where the gap is. You've got to lay that out for them. This is where you clearly show what is missing in the current research. Research funders and potential PhD supervisors, they don't just want an interesting idea. They want a justified, solid idea. They want to see that you're not reinventing the wheel. And this sentence is going to help you get to a point where you can say, I've done the reading, I know what's out there, I know what's not out there. I'm going to pop some variations on this sentence template up on the screen right now, and I'll also put them in the description. So you can just head over there to copy and paste them all later, rather than trying to pause the video and screenshot and faff around. Let's take a look at some examples now to see what these templates might look like when they're filled in. Despite existing research on nurse burnout, there remains a lack of understanding about how early career nurses in emergency departments develop resilience strategies. While several studies have examined urban gentrification, few have focused on the lived experiences of working class women displaced by regeneration schemes. The existing literature has prioritised canonical 20th century poets, but less attention has been paid to working class women's poetic responses to the post-industrial landscapes. Try these sentence templates out. Have a go at writing them with your study in mind and drop them into the comments. It doesn't matter how messy they are or how clumsy the grammar is, just get used to using these templates and trying them out and I would love to give you some feedback on what you've written, so get typing. Also, long-time subscribers to my channel, Degree Doctor OGs, can you also get in the comments and give people some feedback on the sentences that they're putting in there? Let's all help each other out down there. Right then, sentence number two. This project aims to. This should be one of the clearest, most visible sentences in your whole proposal. If reviewers don't understand what it is you're trying to do, they can't support it. This sentence helps you describe exactly what your research is about in one clean line. No waffling, no ambiguity. Here, you're answering the question, what exactly are you doing and why does it matter? And you would be amazed at how many proposals just fail because this sentence is really vague or it's missing completely. Often when prospective PhD students are writing a research proposal, they assume a lot. They assume that the panel are just going to know why this matters. They assume that the people reviewing that proposal are just going to get it. They aren't, okay? You need to spell it out for them. I'm going to pop some variations on the screen right now 
And again, they will be in the description too. So no need to scribble them down. You can just go and copy them straight from there later. Let's take a look at some examples of what these might look like in practice. This project aims to explore how early career nurses develop resilience in high pressure environments by conducting semi-structured interviews with staff in three UK hospitals. The aim of this study is to understand the social consequences of regeneration schemes on displaced working class women through ethnographic fieldwork in two UK cities. This research will investigate the poetic expressions of working class women in post-industrial Britain using close textual analysis and historical contextualization. Before we get on to sentence number three, if you are currently writing a research proposal and if you're finding this video helpful, I think you should buy this. This is my step-by-step -step how to write a research proposal guide. And it goes into way more detail than I've been able to do in this video. It addresses the burning questions like, should I do a literature review before I write this proposal? Do I actually need to have decided what I'm doing in loads of detail at this stage? Or could I change it later? Am I stuck with everything I put in here? I cover all that stuff, aims and objectives, research questions, literature review, methodology, project management, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'll pop a link to that on the screen right now and I'll also put one in the description for later. Sentence number three, and this is all about the contribution your research is going to make. This research will contribute to. This is where you show the so what of your research, why it's worth funding, why it's worth supervising, why it's worth approving. And this is about how your work will benefit others. This sentence will help you demonstrate your awareness of the bigger picture, whether that's academic, practical, societal, and it is really helpful for the reviewers because it helps them to mentally place your research on the bookshelf. It helps them envisage where this is going to fit, what other stuff this is going to sit with. They can be like, oh, this one sits with debates about policy, or this other one sits with debates about inequality. There are some variations appearing on the screen right now, and again, they will be in the description too. Let's check out the examples. This research will contribute to nursing practice by providing insights into how resilience is cultivated and sustained in early career professionals working in acute settings. The findings are expected to inform urban policy by highlighting the hidden costs of regeneration schemes on displaced communities. This study seeks to advance understanding of post-industrial identity formation through the lens of marginalised poetic voices. I said it earlier, I'm going to say it again now start using these sentence templates. Put your own research ideas into them, see how they fit, see how that sounds, see how that feels. And don't worry if the writing is clunky or messy or if your grammar is all over the place, just start using them, okay? Start messy, tidy them up later and put them in the comments because I would love to see them. Let's have a quick recap, okay? The three must have sentences that you need in your proposal are, despite existing research on, there remains, and this one sets up your research gap. This project aims to, this clarifies your main goal, this research will contribute to, this shows your wider impact. And if you only take one thing away from this video, let it be this. Clarity is everything. You can have the most brilliant research idea in the world, but if you're not expressing it clearly, it's just not gonna land with anyone. If you found this video helpful, be sure to go and check out my research proposal guide. It has helped hundreds of students clarify their ideas and get their research proposals written. The link for that is down in the description. And if you fancy sticking around and watching another video, I'm gonna pop one up on the screen right now that is in a similar ballpark to the topic of research proposals. And this one is all about how to choose your PhD supervisor. Possibly one of the most important decisions you will ever make. Go and take a look at that. I'll see you in there.